It's been close to six months since Apple announced MagSafe and their iPhone 12 lineup, and now there's a large variety of different third-party MagSafe accessories available to purchase, including both affordable versions of Apple's accessories and brand new ones that Apple has yet to release. We already made a video talking about the best MagSafe accessories a couple months after its launch, so if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check that out. But in this video, I want to talk about some of the brand new MagSafe accessories that we think are well worth buying. Let's start off with the most simple one. A lot of people love using pop sockets and rings with their phones to have better grip and as a kickstand for watching videos. But if you use one, you can no longer have access to MagSafe. In October, we had info that pop sockets were working on a MagSafe version of their product. However, for some reason, they have yet to finish and release it. Fortunately, we found a third-party base which allows you to use a pop socket or ring while still being able to easily remove it and use other MagSafe accessories. By the way, we have all of these MagSafe accessories linked down below, along with a couple other ones that we would recommend. Now moving on to the next accessory, we have something we've been waiting a long time for. MagSafe Power Bank. A portable charger is one of the most used and most essential phone accessories to exist. Now this MagSafe one brings it to a whole nother level. You no longer need to have a cable with you and have to carry it all together, nonetheless walking around holding it while your phone is charging, which is something that I have had to do a lot. With this MagSafe charger, you don't need a cable since your phone charges wirelessly. You just snap the bank to the back of your phone and that's it. It's easy to carry around and you don't have to worry about it falling off. This power bank we found costs 30 bucks, which is a steal. Currently, Apple sells a smart battery case for the 11s for 130 bucks. They're not very convenient because they're designed to stay on your phone, which makes your phone thick and they're not quick and easy to remove. Apple will likely eventually release their own MagSafe battery packs, but based on the price of that case, it's going to be extremely expensive. Definitely over $100 and possibly even up to $150. So for 30 bucks, this power bank is an amazing deal. It has 5,000 milliamp hours of capacity and has USB-C to charge up. The only downside is how fast it charges up your phone, but since you can easily use your phone while you have it attached, charging time is not a big deal. There's also the sleek looking anchor one for 10 bucks more, which has basically the same specs, but it's out of stock, so we couldn't get our hands on it. Now let's move on to something I'm really excited about, and it's this MagSafe wall mount for 15 bucks. You basically just stick the magnetic pad anywhere you want and you're set. It also comes with a magnetic ring to use with non-iPhone 12s. There are so many places you can put this for convenience. My favorite is in the kitchen because then you can just have it on the wall, have a recipe open, and you don't have to lift it up or bend down to look at it. You can have it mounted and play videos as well, since the constant blowing air can overheat your phone in the winter. And to avoid that, you need to close off the vent entirely, which is not optimal. You can also stick this up in the bathroom to hold your phone when brushing your teeth or showering. And you can use this mount to magnetically hold your keys if you like. It's extremely versatile. Hey guys, this is my new MagSafe wall plate and it's actually really cool for doing vlog style videos like this, so definitely check it out. Now let's move on to a few alternatives to expensive name brand accessories, some of which are more worth it for less. Let's start with the Moft wallet for about 30 bucks. Previously, it was only available on Moft's website, but has since been added to Amazon. This is an alternative option to Apple's MagSafe wallet, which Max now absolutely loves. This wallet is super slim, looks very classy and high quality, and has a lot of features that Apple's doesn't. This wallet is built in a way where you can use it as a stand as well, and in multiple positions. You can stand it up in portrait mode, landscape mode, and even in float mode. This wallet, like Apple's, can fit three cards, and the wallet folds flat to hide the cards, so they're invisible. But unlike Apple's, this wallet is made from faux leather, which a lot of people may actually prefer. The only downside is it might wear down quicker than real leather and won't build up the patina, but not everyone likes that. This and Apple's have the same amount of magnetism. Of course, even Apple's isn't perfect, it can slide and slip off especially if you own a 12 Pro Max, but with that said, it doesn't matter since they're both the same and you're not gaining anything more with Apple's. In fact, with this wallet being 35 bucks, you're saving 25 bucks and getting more functionality with it. Now moving on to a 3-in-1 stand we found for 50 bucks. This one's very similar to Belkin's 3-in-1 stand that you can get from Apple's website for 140 bucks. that, other than the price, we absolutely love. This 3-in-1 is awesome because for that low price, not only do you get the stand itself, but it also comes with a power brick, cable, and Apple Watch charger. Unlike many of the 3-in-1 chargers on the market where you have to provide your own. This thing also has a really cool LED light on the bottom, which briefly glows to indicate that charging has started. But what's really cool about it is that it has a touch-sensitive button on the base, 
that can be used to adjust brightness. Now, this stand claims to charge at 15 watts, however, that's impossible because all three of these chargers have to share the same power brick, so the wattage is split up among them. But with that said, no third party MagSafe charger can deliver full 15 watts anyway, because Apple made sure to only let their devices accept 15 watt wireless charging from their own approved accessories. However, this isn't a big deal for two reasons. First, you're not always getting the full 15 watts even with Apple's own MagSafe charger and 20 watt brick. We did a video testing out a bunch of different charging methods and seeing how they compare, and we saw that Apple's MagSafe only charged at 15 watts until about 20%. After that, it gradually lowers the wattage itself, and then after about halfway, it only charges closer to 6 watts. If you're interested in knowing more, check out that video right over there. Max did a ton of testing and it took a lot of time and work. But getting back to the stand, it's mainly for nighttime charging when you're asleep. So, it doesn't really matter how fast or slow it charges. Keep all of that in mind when shopping for any MagSafe charger in the future. The last accessory is super exciting. It's a copy of Apple's MagSafe Duo charger that costs 130 bucks. This dupe is basically exactly the same for only 35. This thing's great because just like Apple's, it's super compact and one side can charge your Apple Watch while the other your phone or AirPods. And it's MagSafe compatible so your phone will snap to it and you don't have to worry about it being bumped off and stop charging. However, the power brick is not included. It only comes with a USB-C cable so you'll need to use your own power brick. But guess what? Apple's $130 Duo also doesn't come with one, which is insane. And what's even worse is if you buy the $19 20 watt, your phone will only charge at up to 11 watts, not 15 because there's not enough power for the Apple Watch portion. And even if you have a 27 watt or higher adapter, you weirdly only get up to 14 watt MagSafe charging. The beauty of this one though is that it's USB-C, so if you travel with an iPad or MacBook, you'll already have a brick and USB-C cable. So you don't need to keep an extra lightning cable to power the Duo since it uses lightning. This charger is completely different from the 3-in-1, since with that, it's meant to be used in one location, most likely on your nightstand for charging at night. You can't really take it anywhere since it's so bulky and too weird of a shape to easily pack with you. This Duo charger on the other hand, folds together into a tiny compact little charger that you can take wherever you go. And like Apple's, there's no way that we would pay $130 for it, especially if you want both this portable charger and the 3-in-1 for use in your home. By the way, if you buy both the Duo charger and the 3-in-1, that's 90 bucks total. Still way under how much you would pay for just one name brand. So those are our top 6 new MagSafe accessories that we recommend for iPhone 12 owners, and we have links to all of them down in the description below. We also have 9 more that we covered a few months ago that are also very convenient and budget friendly, like our car vent mount that can also charge your phone, which Max has been using for months and loves. So click right over there to check out all 9 of the accessories we covered, and click the button above to subscribe to see more videos like this one. This has been Angelica, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.